I switched from 33 to 35 inch tires on my Jeep Wrangler, and now I'm experiencing this pretty annoying wheel rub. So what I'm going to be doing today is I purchased one and a quarter inch wheel spacers. I'll be installing them, and this will help me solve two problems. It will eliminate the wheel rub, and it will also widen the stance of the Jeep, which will make it look much more aggressive. So I installed the Mopar high clearance fenders to make room for the 35s. But now we have a problem because the wheels are tucked way too far in, which is why I'm going to be installing the spacers, because I'm going to do two things. I'm going to eliminate the rub, and I'm going to make the Jeep look way better by widening the stands. I mean, if you think about it, I spent all this time murdering out my Jeep, and basically, my Jeep skipped leg day. Guys, never skip leg day. I'm removing the lug nuts, and I'm using the jack handle as a breaker bar to get more leverage. Tires off, so now's a good time to do anything you want with the wheel well. For instance, check out your brake pads. Mine's at about 90%, which is alright, so onward to the spacers. Now before I put on the first spacer, something important to note. I'm using a hub-centric spacer versus a lug-centric spacer. Just a little more structurally sound. So before I install the first spacer, pro tip. I'm a huge fan of Loctite because the last thing you want happening is anything coming off of your car in any situation. That's bad news all around. So for Loctite, all you need is just a couple drops on each thread and you're good to go. So this is just like assembling Ikea furniture. So I finally finished all four spacers. Now the sidewalls are even with the fenders. There's no rub. It looks great. This is a real big girl Jeep, and I'm about to take it off-roading, so Freya out. <laughs> Told you I was going to go off-roading. So here I am at Pizzo Beach and I'm about to check it out with my new spacers. <laughs> 